All right, well, we're gonna talk about becoming a director and what DIQ is all about. I just wanted to go through some of the qualifications and the numbers just so you know what it means to be in DIQ to and also to become a director. So DIQ stands for Director and Qualification. It is a period of time, either one, two, three, or four months where you are working to become a director. And what you do is you are starting out with your first month in DIQ when you have 10 active team members. So when you have 10 active team members, then you can submit to be in DIQ, all right? So you have to have your 10 active first. Once you do that, then you go into DIQ that next month. Now they have to be active, 10 active in that month. Okay, so if somebody is in A3 and they don't get active to continue being active, then they wouldn't count for that DIQ in that first month. So make sure that those 10 active people are gonna still be active in that next month, which would be month one of DIQ, okay? So once you have your 10 active in and you're in DIQ, the goal is to grow that team from 10 women to 30 active team members. They all have to be active in order to count. To reach 30, they've gotta be active. Now, once you reach 30 active and you have the wholesale production, which we'll talk about in a minute, then you become a director and those 30 women or more will become your unit. You will be the leader of their unit. You get paid on the co commissions from everyone on that team and all of their team members and lots of other great bonuses. Plus you just get to be an influencer and a leader of this wonderful group of women. They are your unit and you become the offspring of your senior director, okay? So let's talk about the numbers here. So when you have 10, and you're gonna to go to 30, that means you have to add 20 more women that are going to be active. But they don't all have to come from you. They can come from your team members recruiting, okay? So let's say you have 10 women and three of them get excited about building a team. And she has three team members and three ha she has three team members and she has three team members. So that would be nine new people that came from these three women. Okay, three, three, and three. And you had your 10 already. So you have 10 plus nine more, you're already at 19. So now you still need 10 more, but you have four months to complete this. So if you yourself recruited three each month, three, six, nine, you would be right about there in only three months. If you were recruiting three every month, that got active and you had three women recruiting three. So sometimes when we think about the numbers, it's like, oh my gosh, 30 women, how in the world would I ever recruit 30 people? Well, it doesn't have to all come from you. It's better if it's a team effort and everyone is working together to build their own teams as well. Now we know some people won't at all. That's not their goal of being in the business, but some people will get excited and they will help, uh, they will help you in this goal. So going from 10, the first 10 have to be from you and you alone, but the rest from 10 all the way up to 30, they can be uh, built through the team members, recruiting their own team members. Okay, then the production has to come along with it because of course these women need to be placing orders. You can't just get them um, buying a starter kit and then think that you're gonna become a director. You need to have the production with it. So in order to stay moving forward in the qualification period, you need to have at least 4,000 combined orders with your order and everyone else on your team in order to go to the next month of DIQ. So month one, you just need to have your 10 active, you get into month one. During that month, you have to have at least 4,000 combined production with you and the other women. And then you move on to month two. And then in that month, you have to have at least combined 4,000. The active number is not what they are looking at. They're only looking at your wholesale production to be able to move forward to the next month. But in order to finish, you do need to have 30 active team members from you and your team. And total, if you did this in three months, you need to have 13,500 in wholesale production. 
If you did it in four months, it increases to 18,000 in production because you have an extra month to do it, right? Now, in there, there are some requirements about how much you can do as the DIQ. I believe that your personal production, if you do it in three months, can be 3,000. And if you are doing it in four months, your personal number can be 4,000 that you are contributing. That's wholesale, okay? But once you reach, let's say three months, and you have 30 active team members, and you do 13,500 in production from you and everybody else in the unit, all together, added up over those three months is 13,500, you're a director, okay? That's how it works. And those numbers are very doable when you have 30 women that are ordering. Some are gonna order just the minimum, some are gonna do more, some are gonna do you know, parties and inventory and they're gonna have bigger orders. But between everybody ordering together, if you have 30 women active, you will have most likely the numbers that you need. You might need more than 30 women on your team, right, to get 30 of them active. You may need 40 women on your team in your future unit to get 30 of them active because some people, they join and then they disappear, right? Some people join, they order, and then they kind of forget about things and they don't need anything else. So you may need to have a, a bigger number of total women in order to get 30 of them active and that 13,500. If you do it in three months, it's actually easier because the first month that they order is month one, month two and month three active, but then a lot of them will fall off at, of active status by month four. And then you'd have to get them active again or replace them. So I always say, make it a, a goal to finish at least in those first three months. Don't go to four if you can avoid it. All right. So I hope those uh, numbers help you know what's in, um, required for the DIQ process. It is definitely doable. I did it in one try. I did it um, in three months. I believe I did it in three months. I might've gone into the fourth month just for like a couple more that needed to get active. But most people really like doing it in three months or less. So get busy you know, share this business with everybody because you never know who is going to need this Mary Kay in their life. So good luck with your DIQ journey. And if you have questions, you can check on in touch. There's a lot of great information there with all the numbers and lots of great tips and some great tracking too. You want to make sure you're writing everything down and you know who is coming in and you know what all your numbers are. So it's important to be on your reports on in touch and tracking everything as you're going through this DIQ process. I know you can do it.